go get him again. Welcome back to the Robedoid channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to another unboxing first impression video on my channel. Today, we are delving into the brand of Carner Barcelona, which is a line that, that I really ignored on my channel. Uh, but lately, I think this is two videos this year, which is probably a record for this brand, but it is a brand that doesn't get much love on the YouTube uh, world spectrum. Um, so this one right here is from their Fresh series. Uh, they released this Fresh series, I think in 2018, 2019. I always wanted um, the one called Fig Man because I'm you know, a big sucker for fig-based fragrance. Um, so it is from the same line. But here we are kind of going the other way and checking out this one called Bobo. Now, not sure what I'm gonna get here, but I'm assuming obviously a freshie since it's part of the fresh line. Um, I love discovering this line as not too many YouTubers touch upon Carner Barcelona. So it's always nice to just discover something. Um, this is obviously, you know, blind here. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get, but a freshie. Uh, we'll see what's in store for us today. You're gonna discover what I think about it right away on this video. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, what are you waiting for? Appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you're subscribed or not. I really appreciate that. And let's go take a look at the note breakdown on this one. I have it uh, in the back of the box here and we have tons of freshness here. Black currant is uh, definitely piquing my interest, but we have bergamot and mandarin. Um, we do have a trifecta of flowers here in the mid. Uh, orange flower, jasmine, lily of the valley. So we got some white florals here and then white amber, musk, and vetiver in the back end. So not the sexiest note breakdown in the world. So we're thinking, at least I'm thinking, a citrusy floral thing. Um, This was released back in 2019. I think that's when it was uh, introduced, this line. Um, so let's take a look at this. This was the returned item at Fragflex. Uh, they have these that are like 95%, 97% uh, full. So that's why there's scuffs on it. It is already opened. Um, it is hard to open. Oh, that's because it's attached. I was trying to pop it. Not gonna happen. So it is a, I like the, the light wooden cap, but it is a 50 mil, I believe. Is that what that is? Yeah, 50 mil. So Bobo here, um, yeah, 95, 97% full. Mm, I could smell something orangey. So let's put it on strip first and then we'll put it on skin and see what I get. Very good atomizer on this bottle. Let's sniff it out. Let's see what I get. Oh. Oh, this smells very familiar. Let the Rolodex go. Come on. Yep. Oh, I know where this is going. This is Neroli Portofino. Is there an orange blossom in this? Orange flower. Yep, there it is. Sue. So, beautiful bergamot slash mandarin slash orange flower here. Combo. The citrus is vivid, sparkling, but um, not a new idea. Immediately, the Rolodex was a little slow. I should have got it a lot sooner. Yeah. So this is Neroli Portofino, and I don't know, maybe it'll develop more uh, in the back end, but I'm, I'm kind of doubting that, but. So if you don't know what Nor Neroli Portofino is, it's an orange blossom. Um, orange flower based fragrance, um, very clean, um, uplifting, uh, dress it up, dress it down. Uh, it really is a, a great release from the brand of Tom Ford. Now this is much cheaper than the Noroli Portofino. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, you, you go to a discounter, you're gonna get this, maybe this 50 mil, uh, $100 Canadian, maybe a little less. Um, for my American friends, it'll be under 100 perhaps at a discounter. So. There's a deal to be had here. The quality's there. You know, I'm not sensing any rough edges here. Not a new idea, but it's soapy. It's clean. Um, it is floral and citrusy at the same time. 
you know, dress it up, dress it down. Let's put it on skin, but uh, I think I got this one pegged. So, not the most exciting unboxing, honestly, from Carner. And Carner is kind of hit and miss here, right? Like, I don't know. Like, it's a brand that I don't have too much experience with, but now I'm starting to, you know, uh, see that perhaps some of their fragrances are inspired by a little bit. And again, oh, the citruses are magnificent in this. Um, black currant, not much. Hmm. No, you can <laughs> you can sense it a bit. It's in the back end, but really, your mandarin bergamot is your primary citruses, and they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They might be better actually than the Tom Ford, as far as the um, the sparkly effect of it. it. It really is thinned out. It is very much authentic citruses, beautiful. I feel like the Neroli Portofino f is a little more flat, but I still like it. I think it's the bergamot in here that really shows up. A little bit of those white florals, of course, the orange flower comes through as your central theme. Um, yeah, a good warm weather scent, perfect for spring. Um, that's what I'm thinking here. Clean, fresh. Again, dress it up with a tux to dress it down with the shorts and a t-shirt. I'm um, going to the beach, going to the mall, going to a wedding. Um, these are the type of scents that I, I absolutely love. Versatile. Um, yeah, so not a... Crazy release from Carner. Nothing, nothing new to the game, but at the same time, um, yeah, if you can get this at a discounter like I did, um, get it for cheap. Uh, highly uh, recommend, especially if you like that. Again, Nor Neroli Portofino, you know, 47.11 does it for really cheap. Um, it's not an idea that, you know, I would spend a lot of money on. This is not really huge as far as money goes. But the quality is there. Very clean scent. Yeah, it's not giving me... Uh, I'm trying to find like something else in this release. Other, like maybe some of these base notes, the amber or the, the vetiver, but... Yeah, at the moment, it really is those white florals, orange blossom, bergamot mandarin, a little bit of black currant. So you're getting a lot of the top and mid notes, but not a new idea. So Bobo, eh, I'm lukewarm on it. Like, I'm like, okay, okay. Um, you know, if I tested out Carner Barcelona as a brand and I had a whole bunch of samples, uh, I'm sure I probably find something else that resonates more with me. Um, just because this idea is just as well done as it is kind of, kind of boring to me. Like it's not showing anything different from what I've been smelling in this genre, but it's quality. So this one I got at fragflex.com. You can find this one there. Uh, super cheap, uh, probably one of the better sites to get Carter Barcelona. I do have, of course, a coupon code, uh, which is TFG10. Um, you can get 10% off on a release like this or anything site-wide, obviously, uh, with that code. Go check out FragFlex um, for that. But uh, Bobo, an all right release. Uh, now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. What do you think about this release? Have you smelt it? Good, bad, and the ugly. You agree, disagree with me? Um, I absolutely love hearing um, those suggestions. And uh, if you got nothing to say about Bobo, definitely uh, hit me up with other suggestions for the brand. Um, you know me, I test out a lot of stuff. I blind buy a lot of the only stuff. The thing I don't dabble in is clone brands, um, uh, even influencer brands. Like I, I try to stay away from that. Um, those are things that you're not gonna see much on my channel. So. Uh, there's plenty of channels that do that, but for me, I'm not really interested in the Middle Eastern clones that are 20 bucks for uh, releases. I'm just not into that. But other than that, um, I will del delve into almost anything. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube.